The attractive city of Dusseldorf in Germany is highly regarded as one of the country's leading university towns and is an important centre for art and fashion. This old electoral capital is also a city of wide streets lined by elegant shops with a ring of parks and gardens encircling its vibrant downtown area. As an important cultural centre, Dusseldorf has dozens of museums and in excess of 100 art galleries. The latter encompass everything from internationally renowned facilities such as the impressive art collection North Rhine-Westphalia to the smaller installations found in the city's trendy Konigsalli area. These tourist attractions, along with the city's location on the Rhine, its numerous wide squares and its wonderful riverside walkways make it a particularly pleasant place to spend time. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 rated attractions and things to do in Dusseldorf. And just wait till you see what's at number three that we're going to be showing in this video. Something you would never even have thought of. So make sure you watch till the end. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more awesome travel guides. And make sure you hit the notification bell so that you know when we publish a new video. So now let's cut to the chase. At number 10, Good Neighbours. Visit Dusseldorf Kaiserswerth. Incorporated into the city in 1929, Dusseldorf Kaiserswerth is one of the city's oldest and polshest neighbourhoods and is a wonderful place to explore baroque buildings and the picture-perfect location on the Rhine. Be sure to allow plenty of time to wander its pleasant cobbled streets, popular among tourists for its traditional German shops selling food items and crafts. There are also a number of good art galleries here, including the Kaiserswerth Art Archive, plus pleasant cafes and restaurants. Tracing its roots back to the 13th century is the Church of St. Suthbertus, noted for its beautiful reliquary of the saint. Even older is the Kaiserpfalz, the imperial stronghold of Emperor Frederick I, also known as Barbarossa. Although mostly ruins, the scale of the site still impresses, with walls more than four meters thick. The ruins also serve as a great vantage point for excellent views over the Rhine. At nine, Take in a performance at Tonhalle Dusseldorf. Those who enjoy high culture should be sure to visit Dusseldorf's Enrenhof district. Here you'll find the domed Tonhalle, a spectacular concert hall constructed in 1926 as home for the city's orchestra, Dusseldorfer Symphonica. The building is still the home for this world-class orchestra and regular performances are held throughout the year. It's also used regularly as a venue for touring pop and rock artists. At 8, visit the Museum of Art. The Museum of Art displays artwork dating from the 3rd century BC right up to the present day. Works include fine art, sculptures and drawings in addition to more than 70,000 items of graphic art, photos and applied art. Highlights are a collection of glass by Helmut Hendrik and rare Italian Baroque works. The modern collection features Caravaggio, whose work laid the foundations of modern art and works by Dali, Warhol and members of the Dusseldorf School of Painting and Expressionism. The museum also offers theatrical performances and classical concerts and guided tours are available. Also of interest to art lovers is Kunsthalle Dusseldorf, a collection of local artists who regularly host displays of members' work in a unique underground gallery called Art in the Tunnel. And now, at 7, view the North Rhine-Westphalia Art Collection. The North Rhine-Westphalia Art Collection is spread across three distinct locations in Dusseldorf. The largest collection, K20, is located in Grabeplatz, an ultra-modern building with a facade of polished black granite, which is itself a work of art. This vast gallery houses numerous works of modern art, including a notable collection of paintings by Paul Klee. K21 in the 19th century Standenhaus building includes a variety of installations focusing on modern painting and drawing as well as sculpture and film with works by Thomas Schutter, Reinhard Mutscher and Thomas Hirschhorn. The third location, Schmellerhaus, hosts numerous temporary exhibits. Other art-related museums of note in Dusseldorf include the Julia Stoschek collection, a private collection of contemporary art and the Ernst Schneider collection. A variety of reputable dining options are available at the museum's various locations. At 6, see the views from the Rhine Tower, Rheinturm. Another landmark you'll want to include on your list of sightseeing opportunities in Dusseldorf is the Rheinturm or Rhine Tower. 
Set in the midst of the city's harbour area, this 240-metre-tall telecommunications tower was constructed in 1981 and features an observation deck that offers superb views of the city. For a special treat, visit late for excellent night vistas over the city far below. Also of interest here is the Lich Seidpegel, Light Time Level, a fascinating sculpture that also just so happens to be the world's largest digital timepiece. A restaurant is also located atop the tower. And at five, Dusseldorf Hafen and Neue Zollhof. When Dusseldorf decided to reclaim the wasteland of its former river port area, instead of raising the derelict warehouses and freight yards, the city rehabilitated the most historic of them and replaced others with some of Europe's most daring modern architecture. The best of the massive Dusseldorf Hafen redevelopment is in Neue Zollhof, a stunning section highlighted by the Frank O'Gary designed office buildings of Meidenhafen, Media Harbour. Three quite distinct structures completed in 1998 that seem to defy gravity as they lean and curve like jelly frozen in mid wobble. In contrast to these modern structures, the former commercial harbour, with its walls, iron bollards and railings, cranes and rail tracks, remain as historical monuments. Topping the area off is Rheinturm, a 240-metre-tall telecommunications tower. If you can, be sure to extend your visit to this interesting area with a meal at one of the many good harbourside restaurants. Next up at 4, explore Old Town Dusseldorf. Dusseldorf's Old Town, the Altstadt, remains remarkably well preserved and should be included on your list of must-see attractions. The focal point of the old town is the Marktplatz, where you'll find the imposing town hall, Rathaus, and a large equestrian statue of Elector John William II, erected in 1711. Another highlight is the Castle Tower in Burgplatz, on the banks of the Rhine. The only surviving section of the old castle that once dominated the city, the tower is home to the Schiffharts Museum, one of Germany's best and oldest marine museums, with fascinating exhibits on the history of shipbuilding and trade. Another attraction to visit is the Hedgens Museum, dedicated to more than 800 years of ceramics, porcelain and earthenware. St. Lambertus Church is also worth a look and is well known for its unusual twisted spire. And now at three, drive to Schloss Benrath. An easy 10km journey from the city centre by public transit or car, Schloss Benrath, Benrath Palace, is a splendid Baroque mansion constructed between 1756 and 1773. Highlights include the palace's sumptuous interior as well as a stroll around its huge park and gardens. Originally built for Elector Karl Theodor, the palace is home to three excellent museums focusing on various aspects of life in the 18th century. In the main palace building is Museum Corp de Logis, showcasing the history of Benrath and its architecture. Also located within the former place are the equally interesting Museum for European Garden Art and the Museum of Natural History are situated in other park buildings. English language guided tours are available for all museums here. The pleasant gardens, laid out in Baroque style, are also worth a visit. And now at two, enjoy a riverside stroll on the Rhine Embankment Promenade. Dusseldorf's Rhine Embankment Promenade offers one of the best ways of enjoying the city's wonderful riverside. Opened in 1997 as a means of hiding one of the city's busiest roads, it's buried beneath the promenade. This long pedestrian route gives the city a distinct Mediterranean flavor, lined as it is by cafes, restaurants, galleries and shops on one side and the mighty Rhine on the other. Running all the way from the Oberkassel Bridge and connecting the Old Town to the state's parliament buildings, the one and a half kilometre tree-lined promenade encompasses pedestrian and bike paths and offers countless opportunities for sightseeing and people watching. You'll find a genial mix of tourists and locals enjoying it all year long. Taking a stroll along this delightful pedestrian route remains one of the top things to do in Dusseldorf at night. And finally, at one, walk along Konigsalle, Germany's most elegant avenue. Dusseldorf's most elegant street, Konigsalle, literally translated into English as King's Avenue, is affectionately known to locals as the Co and is said to be Germany's ritziest shopping district. 
Comparable to the chic Avenue Montaigne in Paris, this long stretch of high-end real estate was laid out in 1802 and continues to draw the crowds with its eclectic mix of exclusive boutique shops, designer clothing stores and luxury shopping arcades. There's also no shortage of art galleries or restaurants and cafes. A number of fine luxury hotels line the street too, some of them boasting excellent rooftop patios with views over this bustling street and the city. Extending along both sides of the Old Town Moat, a 31-metre-wide, tree-lined stretch of water that adds to the street's sense of spaciousness, Konigsallee stretches a distance of one kilometre all the way from Graf Adolf Platz in the south to the Hofgarten in the north. It ends at the spectacular Triton Fountain. Its entire length is a delight to explore on foot and is a must-add to your Dusseldorf travel itinerary. And there you have the top 10 rated attractions and things to do in Dusseldorf. Did you like what you saw? Let us know in the comments down below. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fantastic travel guides. Auf Wiedersehen and see you next time.